Baker, bear with me here. I got a few questions for you. First, how are you feeling? Are you ready to get this week over with, or how's it back? Yeah, I think it's been, uh, you know, it always leading up to the first game. It's just a, a long off season, and it feels like it drags on forever. Um, so, obviously, this one was a little bit different for me, just kind of being in limbo for a little bit. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited to get out there for the first time and it's be the real thing. And, and get this first game under our belt and see what this team's going to be all about. Yeah, now that you got a grasp of this offense, do you, do you feel like being in Carolina and being in the Mac New system it has you playing off the leash in that sort of capacity? Yeah, I mean, and I've mentioned it. I just, everybody here has been, you know, so welcoming. And, and the system especially is, uh, I think, is going to fit me well. And I, I think it's just, as a, as a whole offense, I think we're going to continue to grow, and especially my game is going to continue to grow the more reps I get within this system. Um, and just... You know, just being able to play free and, and you know, the message is always have a you know reasoning for why I'm checking something and, and, uh, and yeah, you have a reason for everything. Right, and we both obviously have people in Cleveland. People are wondering what was the reason for the t-shirts, the goal for, for what you're doing on Sunday. Oh man, I, I wish I could say that I came up with t-shirts, but uh, got a good team behind me, and they you know they put a few you know little hidden messages of like you know just my history of. Uh, some of the little stuff in there. So just, they do a good job, and, it, and I think people back home and just people that have been following me for a long time like it. So it, it's just a fun thing to do. Like, you've had a lot of good games and what people define as revenge games. How does this one differ from other games, so-called revenge games? You know, like I mentioned last week, I think it's a great storyline. Obviously, there's history involved. Um, you know, leading up to this week, there's other games in the NFL that guys are playing their former teams. It's just it's the excitement leading up to week one that um, I think is building that anticipation up. But for me, it's the familiarity. Anytime you're playing guys you know, it makes it just more interesting, more fun. Um, you get to smack talk a little bit with your buddies that you've been with for a little bit. And, uh, you know how to, to poke and prod and get the best out of them. And, it's, I'm looking forward to the opportunity. Do you personally view it as a revenge game? No. I mean, it, I'm grateful for the time I, I had in Cleveland. Um, like I said, I started my career there. Um, fans there at football town, you know, obviously, like I mentioned multiple times, it, it ended abruptly and, you know, unexpectedly, but we're here now. Everything happens for a reason, and I'm rolling with the punches, and I'm, like I said, I'm happy to be a Panther. Baker, when you play in these games that have a little bit more anticipation leading up to them, does that shut off when the game kicks off, or do you remain kind of keyed up throughout the game because of that? Um, yeah, definitely leading up, there's just more anticipation. But as soon as you get the first snap under your belt, you're trying to relax a little bit. Uh, you know, fortunately, this isn't my first rodeo. Going, going back to Texas Tech when I was at Oklahoma, um, I was able to kind of relate that um, to my situation now. Just going to play one one play at a time, and that's that's all that matters. Um, and just put our team in the best position possible to win, and that's my job. Does that experience help? Will that experience help you manage some of that emotion once the game kicks off? I think so. I think anytime you can relate to your past experiences and learn from it, good or bad, um, you can always benefit from that. So I think it will help. Has life slowed down for you after the unknown, moving, battling for a job, and now it's this game? Yeah, I, I think that's another reason why I'm you know, extremely happy that game week, the, the regular season is finally here, to get into that normal routine uh, week in and week out and just be able to, to grow as this team and see what we're made of. You know, obviously after this one, it's, it's the most important one because it's the next one, but there's 16 more after that. So we're going to have a singular focus each week um, and just go out and play our best this Sunday. How about that big picture, Baker? Beyond this week, what are some things you're trying to accomplish this year, both a personal and team? Um, I mean, I'm all about winning. So I mean, it, personally, it's for me turnovers uh, it is a, a huge, you know, importance and a value just going into each week and knowing that you know how our defense plays. If we can control the ball and eliminate mistakes, we're going to be able to get in a good position to win games uh, in a lot of them. So. Uh, for me, that, that's that's my personal goal is to put us in the best position possible to win. That means take care of the ball and just to lead these guys like I know how. And I'm feeling healthy and you know, knock on wood, but, you know, continue to do that and feel great just to be able to be the best quarterback I can be for this team. I was curious how much influence the design of the T-shirts that you were promoting uh, last week. How much? What's that? These T-shirts are such a big deal. Um, <laughs> they look great. Hey, thanks. 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 Yeah, uh, I, I didn't have any. Uh, saying it, you know, this I don't get paid to make T-shirts. I, I get paid to uh, 
play football and have fun with my, my buddies. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. But here, I wanted to ask about just the Oklahoma fans and the way they've sort of followed you around throughout your career. Have you felt the love since getting to Charlotte? And you know, how many Sooners fans have you seen since you've gotten here? Yeah, I think the uh, the one thing they were all grateful for when I went back for the spring game, um, they said they were happy to not be wearing orange again when it came to like University of Texas or Oklahoma State. So uh, they, they were happy about that. But that, that's a fan base that it's always been family. Um, I've always felt the love from them, and it's, it's continued to be that way. We ask every player that's ever had to do this the same question in terms of how much have you helped the defense about the Cleveland or the talked about the Cleveland offense with the defense. How much time have you spent with the Panthers defense? I mean, there's there's just been little conversations about, uh, you know, tendencies. You know, obviously the, the verbiage and stuff like that is going to change week in and week out, and they're definitely going to try and change that, just knowing the familiarity. Of, I expect their defense to change their verbal calls. You know, I expect their offense to do the same, so I'm not telling our defense that. So, I mean, I'm not going to waste too much time on that. It's just, you know, when it comes down to it, we have to do our job as an offense, and defense has to do it as well. You know, they're, they're, they're going to want to run the ball. That's that's the motive there. It's, that's never going to change. And we're going to want to just try and score a bunch of points and get our defense out there to, to play fast. And so we just got to play complimentary football when it comes down to it. Thank you, Barry. Describing your goals and kind of the vision you mentioned, protecting the ball, kind of leaning on the defense a little bit. Your history has been kind of a, as a gunslinger. Can both of those things exist, or do you, are you yeah. thinking you're going to change your game? Uh, no, I mean, I'm still going to be aggressive when it comes down to it. Um, if, you, if you look, I don't like talking about the, the past, but um, statistically I've improved each year. Obviously, I, in my mind, I don't really count last year just because of the injuries and stuff like that. I've improved each year about taking care of the ball and just trying to understand the system. And, you know, hopefully going forward, this is you know the system I deal with for, for a longer time period instead of having to change each year. Um, so I, I just try and learn and grow in it and take care of the ball and get us in a good position to win, like I keep saying. How much do you think last year in the injury not only impacted your performance, but impacted Cleveland's decision to move on? Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to get into specifics as to why they moved on, uh, just because I, I, don't, I don't have those answers. Does being familiar with that Cleveland defense, do you feel like that gives you a bit of an, an edge heading into this week's matchup? Um, it, it doesn't give me an edge, nor does it give them an edge. It just gives us both familiarity about you know my tendencies, how I line up, uh, and, and likewise. I, I know how those guys like to line up, how they like to disguise certain things. It's uh, I don't think one side has the edge over the other. I think we're understanding you want to talk much about the Browns, but what would it mean to you if you were able to to go back and beat them, given the way things ended there? It would mean uh, that I, I came here and, and did what I was trying to do. Uh, came here to win ball games and start not one to zero is the goal. And put this one to bed and move on to the next one. Baker, before the game, are you hopeful for any on-field interaction, hugs for Miles and Nick, or you know Don Peoples Jones, anything like that? Or you know a big hug from Nicholas Chubb would be uh, a really really good gift. Um, you know just to hear him say a word would also be nice. <laughs> you know, that would mind what he is. More for Baker. Good. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Bear.